should be me. Oh, Jesus. Hashtag blessed. I ain't ready for me. Uh. Hey. Okay, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to 2018 again. That song had to probably be one of the best songs of 2017. I absolutely loved it. I jammed it all year long and I'll probably be jamming it the rest of my life. You know what I realized is that I was really rude on my first vlog of 2000. Why do I keep saying 20,000? I was really rude on my first vlog of 2018. Um, this channel has been growing and I just wanted to say thank you thank you thank you to all of my new subscribers if you are new to this channel hello welcome my name is Alexia Nicole and I am living my life by design um but yes thank you for joining me if you have not hit that subscribe button go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button right now it's only fair to yourself so you can know when I'm posting because as y'all may notice I don't have a real schedule. I just do it when I'm able to, especially with my crazy flying schedule. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Let's go ahead and get into this video right now. I woke up this morning. I got an email that I'm going to tell y'all about towards the end of the video. It might be in the middle of the video, but you're going to want to know what it is. So make sure you watch all the way through. For this video today, I am going to do my 2018 goals, vision boards, and I just wanted to share that with you all. So let's go ahead and get into it. Say hi to Aspen. <laughs> He's about to get comfortable on the bed and chill. So this is or was my vision board for 2017. So I'm just going to share some of this with y'all. Um, the goals that I put on here, the ones that I did reach, the ones that are still happening, and the ones that mm, kind of fell to the wayside. Because you know, hey, I am human. So this was year 28 to 29 for me. My birthday falls right in the middle of the year. I'm June 2nd. So right at the six month mark. So I always like to do that. It's like, you know, a uh, halfway growing stage for me. So half of the year I'll be 29 and then half of the year I'll be 30. So we'll see what happens. Um, career growth. That definitely happened. Making a profit all year long. Mm, that did happen. <laughs> um, spend with a purpose. I have got a lot better with my spending. Be a boss chick. I think y'all already know I'm a little bossy bossy. Um, profit in your pocket and most of this over here y'all kind of went more towards my real estate career and um, I did this board before I became a flight attendant I did have intentions to become a flight attendant I just wasn't sure when that was gonna happen so I was still very much focused on my real estate career when I was doing this so all of this was towards that and I made a lot of those um, goals come true I think as I've mentioned in the past my degree is in fashion merchandising, so I do really and truly have a great love for fashion. So, you know, just wanted to kind of keep up with that and make sure I stay true to myself in that aspect. Um, I wanted to explore the world and whether that was, you know, doing it as a career, as a flight attendant, or just going places. And I know y'all know that I did explore. I didn't make it to any of these places yet, but I'll definitely get there to the love section it says black love I am a black woman and I do desire black love I don't knock anything else I'm not closed mind but that's just a desire of my heart and I believe that if I speak it out loud if I put it up there God is gonna bless me with it one day this quote says I never want to be that girl who's desperate to find a mate um, and that still is very much true I'm not definitely out there begging for nobody's love. I love myself just enough. And whenever the God decides to bless me with that mate, I will be happy with that then. Um, so, yeah, we're still, this is still going to be pretty much the same because I'm still very much single. <laughs> so then we have, I wanted to reach great heights. And then as y'all can see, we had F and an A there. What could that possibly stand for? Flight attendant. Goal reach. Let's put a heart around that one. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. It happened, right? And then, so the life section. And these are just little things that I love about me. 
and just a reminder to continuously stay true to myself. So we have drama queen here. Yes, I'm a bit of a drama queen every now and then. I'm not super dramatic with it, um, but it happens at times. I'm a bright young thing. Yes, I am. Um, young is relative because I feel like I'm getting a little old, but obviously, you know, that just comes with age. I'm a Gemini and I love that. I know a lot of people say Geminis are two-faced and then we're crazy and we have all these sides to us, but I personally just like to say that we are very well-rounded people. So I do love the fact that I'm a Gemini. So yeah, those are the goals for 2017. That was actually the first year that I ever completed a vision board. Years before that, I always said, oh, I want to do one, I want to do one, and I never actually got to it. So last year, I finally sat down and did it, and I really enjoyed it. It was always here for me to look at and remind myself of what it is that I truly want in life. So we're going to start fresh. 2018 blank slate with a new vision board for this year. Like I said, some of these things are gonna carry over and then some are we're just gonna have brand new things. So let's get straight. So I went in and collected some magazines. I have the Keller Williams Domain Magazine, Cosmopolitan, Glamour, Women's Health, and then the Living Magazine. So let's get to snipping. My play, 2018. Um, and just in case y'all are wondering what I'm sipping on, this is homemade eggnog that my stepfather made. And <laughs> it's full of rum. <laughs> and it's so good. <laughs> I'm off, y'all. I can have a beverage or two. I stay with you and something else that I completely forgot to share with y'all on December 28th of 2017 I made six months with my company so I completed my introductory period yay, without any issues hallelujah so the introductory period is what we, it's like the same thing as like a probationary period at any other company, but my company just chooses not to call it that. So I got my first raise on December 28th. I went up a few more dollars, hallelujah. And then came January 1st, we got the 5% increase company raise. So then I got another few more dollars. <laughs> So I am slowly making my way up from being a broke reserve flight attendant. How exciting is that, y'all? Like, it was really, really awesome to get those two raises within the same week. I haven't seen the paychecks yet. This next paycheck will show the first raise that I got and then the second paycheck that I get in January will show the January 1st pay raise. So I'm super, super excited. And y'all know that I'm going to start working first class in February. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, we'll just see how all of that goes. I'll keep y'all updated on everything. But I wanted to share that with y'all. But that is still not the email that I was referring to. So keep watching. Focus on communicating but I don't need the time and place to come through Send me your location Ever seen a spoiled dog? This 
is a spoiled dog. I did it. It's all my fault. Look at him. He just gets comfortable. Comes climbs up on my lap and gets comfortable like mommy wasn't doing something. Mommy is doing something, Aspen. Say hi to the people. Where's your paw? Oh, it's right there. Say hi. Okay, let's try this one. Say hi. Hey, my name is Aspen. I'm eight years old. And I'm as spoiled as could be. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm a big mama's boy. And I get mad every time she leaves me. So whenever she comes back home, I never want to leave her side. <laughs> All right, baby, get down. Thank you. Okay, y'all, so I've pretty much cut out everything in the magazines that interested me that I wanted to put on my vision board. So I'm going to fix my placement. I can't really see it. I'll just show y'all. I'm just going I have completed 2018's vision board so let's see if I can explain some of this to y'all so obviously we have 2018 up here here it says happiest healthiest you feed your fit goals so obviously I have some really really strong fit goals for this year because I really just want to get back to feeling like the best me and I haven't really been feeling that way lately so I just have like uh, a green smoothie and some emergency vitamins because emergency is my go-to right about now especially flying y'all as y'all can y'all can probably tell from my last video and right now like I'm sick and I don't like being sick one bit and then down here I just have some quotes if y'all follow me on Instagram I'm always posting quotes I love quotes I think they're just so super motivational at least a motivational quote, I should say. So this one says, always be grateful. I have the Keller Williams logo here. I really want to get back into my real estate business so bad. I miss it so, 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 so much. Um, it's, you know, it proved to be really hard trying to balance doing that and being a reserve flight attendant. So hopefully within, by June, I'm hoping to really be back in full-blown business again. So I just put that down here as a reminder for me to just, you know, stay focused on that. Here it says, be bold. I'm a bold person and I'm just going to remind myself to continue to being bold. And then this just says, who are you? And it has Lex right here. Um, my friends and family call me Lex. That's, my name's Alexia, so that's short for that. Gemini. Gemini and then 6-2 for my birthday, June 2nd. And then if we go back up here, I have God in the middle. Y'all probably noticed on my 2017 one, I had God in the middle of there also. God is just the foundation of my life. Nothing, nothing happens without him. Is the beginning and end of everything for me. So I put him in the middle or as close to the middle of the posters I could get. So it just shows that he is the foundation of everything for me. This says mind blown love. Um, obviously that is an aspiration of mine, a goal of mine, something that I do desire. And I don't want that average love. You know, I don't want to just get a boyfriend or a husband or a man one day just to say I got one. Like, I'm not that girl. I'm not going to ever settle. So I want mind-blowing love. And then this says choose love, not hate, obviously. Um, choose love all the time and not even in regards to dating just choose love be nice to people just be a giving person have a loving heart hey Aspen um, this says strong is sexy I used to really lift weights and um, I want to get back to it and that's just a reminder of you know um, even though I am a female it is you can still be very feminine and muscular you know and have defined a defined shape this one up here says choose joy and then i just have some other fun quotes that i found in the magazines everything's going wrong at least my eyebrows are right keep those eyebrows on fleek ladies and gentlemen and this says 
get ready to live your most fun and fearless life. And that's how I choose to live every day. I want every day to be fun. And I don't want to be scared of anything. There's so many things that is happening in this world today. Here in America, everywhere, I don't want to live a life full of fear. You know, I just want to give all of that to God. I just want to pray about it and just be able to experience everything that I can and enjoy it. And then this quote right here says, if we all thought I'm just one person and I can make a difference, so much would be done. Just a reminder for me that even the smallest things that I do, like even my small little YouTube channel, can definitely make a difference for anybody's life. You know, like, I don't know the almost thousand of you all that are subscribed to this channel, but the comments that y'all leave show me that my channel is making a difference for somebody, for some of you all. It's inspiring you all, and it just motivates me to continue to do that. Then I have a vehicle on here because I do want to buy a new vehicle in 2018. Not necessarily this exact car, but just a car. And then there's a picture of a house that says sold right here. Um, this is another a motivation for me. And um, really, this is more of a a year 30 goal for me not necessarily a 2018 so this might fall over into 2019 but you know you want to put it in the forefront of your brain right and then down here it says go for the goal and then these are just some things that I want to accomplish in 2018 um, running a 10k I've run 5k's before and I know I can do that and this is just, you know, I'm not really an avid runner or anything like that. But I think it would just be fun to say, hey, I've done it. I, I knocked it off the list and move on to the next thing. And then it will also just help keep motivating me to, to stay fit and keep working on things like that. Because I want to reach that goal. Um, and then I have 30 by 30 on here. And that is saying I want to lose 30 pounds by the time I turn 30 on June 2nd, 2018. So we got some work to do, y'all, but that's not bad. That's what, five months? I can do that. Fingers crossed. <laughs> and then right here, you can't really see this little one, but it says um, YouTube channel. And then I have a 5K here. That is my goal for the year of 2018. I want to hit 5K, 5,000 subscribers. So... You know, that's that's not a lot compared to some of these really huge channels, which I'm not in competition with anyone. This is just, you know, a goal for myself to help me stay more consistent with my videos and things like that. So 5K is my goal. And then, so if you're not subscribed, go ahead and help a sister out. <laughs> and then it has pack your bags right here. And then this is um, NY. Oh, I guess my N is backwards, but NY, pack your bags, NY. So I know that technically I live in New York because I signed a lease there. And for whatever reason, that's getting kind of heavy, so I'm going to lay that down. For whatever reason, I've still just really been finding the idea of living in New York. Like I run home here to Houston, Texas as much as I can. One, because I do obviously miss my dogs and my family and my friends. Um, but I do, I want to get more comfortable with being in New York, because honestly, I'm just not comfortable there, y'all. Like, I lose all motivation to do anything when I'm there, and all I want to do when I'm off is leave. So, that is just for me to just say, okay, Alexia, embrace the stage that you're at right now. You're here in New York. It's an amazing city. So, just embrace it, girl. Just get with it, girl. <laughs> but, so, yeah. Um, that's that. But back to this one right here. Go for the goal. This one right here, go for the goal. So, I know I have a ton of y'all on this channel that are aspiring to be flight attendants, right? Y'all tell me all the time, oh my gosh, I can't wait for this airline to open up or when is your airline opening up and I've applied here and I've applied there or I've thought about it or I used to be one. Whatever it is, if your goal is to get back to it, it's time to stop talking about it, and now it's time to do it. Because guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I received an email this morning from the company that is near and dear to my heart, and we will be opening up our application for in-flight crew members, flight attendants on January 8th, y'all. January 8th! Yay! 
so for all of y'all that have been waiting, and I can't specify exactly what airline I work for, use your context clues, you'll figure it out. So yeah. And then if my airline isn't necessarily the one that you want to apply for, I'm going to need you to go online, flightattendantcareers.com. I'm going to put it right here, and then I'm going to put it in the description box as well with the link directly to that website. And that will have a list of all the other airlines that are hiring right now too. So there's no excuse. It's the beginning of the year. And if this is your goal, let me tell you, if this is your goal, I'm going to need you to, as soon as you're done watching this video, go ahead and start preparing yourself to apply for these airlines, okay? And I've already done all the hard work for you. I've already done step by step. So just go watch these videos right up here and it will give you step by step how to become a flight attendant. And I'm not gonna fail y'all, I promise you. So anyways, that is it. I hope you all enjoyed my vision for 2018. Please comment down below and tell me what your visions are for the year, what it is that you want to accomplish. Just anything. Pick my brain about what I have going on in my life. You know I love to share with y'all. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked my goals for 2018. Until next time.